Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to the latest match day preview on the channel. We are hurtling towards the end of the season, but this one is Doncaster Rovers versus Accrington Stanley in League 2. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to the latest match day preview, Doncaster Rovers versus Accrington Stanley in League 2. Um, this is the first preview with Accrington Stanley this season on the channel, even though this will be the fourth time we've played them. Uh, twice in the FA Cup, first, first round and then a first round replay. I was down with the dreaded man flu, I think, when we played uh, in December, so there was no preview then. So this is the first one that we get to see you in this season. There's only four games left, so... Sorry about that, but if you are an existing subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with the channel and supporting it. We've just ticked over 3,400 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. I do really appreciate it. And if this video has brought you to the channel and you enjoy this sort of content, please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Um, and there will be plenty coming up next season. If you are new, this is the format that we go through match previews. We'll look at previous meetings between the two clubs, current form across all competitions which is good for Rovers fans reading. Player profiles, choose a Doncaster Rovers player to say a few words about, and then I pick the opponents want to watch. So you know your club much better than I do. So if you think somebody else needs to be in the conversation, get them in the comments down below. I love to learn about all the clubs that we face in League Two. And then we finish the video with three predictions. The predicted team lineup, thanks to FanHub. The predictions league table that me and the family have been doing all season. And then the all important score prediction at the very end. And if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, I think you'll already be able to predict my score prediction before I get to that slide. On to previous meetings though. Um, Doncaster and Accrington have faced off a total of 54 times in our history. That's including Accrington before the reformation in 1981, I believe it was. Um, but yeah, Rovers come out on top on 24 of those occasions. We've drawn 14 and Accrington have won 16. But since their reformation, Accrington have had our number with seven wins out of 11, I believe it is. Looking at the uh, more recent five though, um, we go back to 2021 in League One and it was a 1-0 defeat um, away from home. And then the return fixture in that season, the 21-22 season, Rovers won that 2-0 at home. It'd be nice to see that scoreline again tomorrow. And then earlier this season, FA Cup first round, it was a 2-2 draw at home. And then we managed to edge the replay 2-1. And then uh, the away fixture a month later finished a bore draw 0-0. So hopefully we get that 2-0 win at home and continue our decent run of form. And talking of form, normally I do the last five, but we have won seven in a row, which is unheard of for a lot of Doncaster Rovers fans. So I've extended the graphic to include all of our wins. But unfortunately for Accrington fans, that shows a little bit more inconsistency for you guys with um, a couple of defeats in there, a couple of draws and a couple of wins over the last couple of uh, over the last seven games. But yeah, as I mentioned, 77 years since Doncaster completed seven wins on the bounce. None of my family that are still alive have ever seen that. So we're at a loss at what to do. We don't know what, what to what to do, how to react to this. Um, but it has been a monumental effort since the end of January to see us even considered by quite a few people now in the playoff conversation and the playoff picture. Um, if the results go our way tomorrow, I'll be fully on board, um, but I still, I still, however, think that we're a few games short of accomplishing the improbable. I'll not say impossible because with Doncaster Rovers, you never quite know. Um, but yeah, it's great being a Donny fan at the minute. Really enjoying going and watching the football. Um, there's a feel good factor on social media, which has been something that's been missing for a number of seasons, and I think rightfully so with the with the form that we've been in over the last three or four years. Uh, but around the stadium as well, there's a buzz. Um, so if we don't get to the playoffs, which I don't think we will, I think we're a couple of games short. I am really looking forward to 2024-25 and what this squad plus a few decent additions and Grant McCann can bring. And if we finish strongly and continue that into next season, I think it'll be a really good one. On to Accrington. Um, very little to play for in this one. The 17th, safe from the drop, but not able to catch the playoffs either. So it's a bit of a dead rubber for them. Um, 
not too sure if the Accrington fans will be happy with the season, uh, how it's panned out as a whole. Owner Andy Holt's been fairly vocal on social media. He's sometimes good, sometimes bad. I do, uh, I do like the the threads that he puts on. It, it gives an insight into into football a little bit more that you don't always see. I'm not sure if he's still left X or if he's back on it. I've not seen him for a while. Um, but the surprise for me this season coming out of Accrington was seeing the part ways with John Coleman, who's been a pretty consistent manager in my opinion for, for Accrington he's always made them difficult to beat a tough team to play against um, and he, he helped them become a league one staple team and up until fairly recently um, so yeah it was a surprise to see them part ways I thought they'd have left it till the summer but obviously Andy Holt made the decision to, to part ways with him and I think 17th after getting relegated it's a season where you can kind of steady the ship a little bit and then push on next season so I'm not sure Accrington fans in the comments down below happy or not with this season because I'm unsure on to play profile so for this one I have gone with Jamie Sterry for the Rovers 28 year old right back and for, for Jamie it was a tough start for him in a Donny shirt due to injury we didn't see him for 18 games after the opening day of the season and I think he's now showing part of what we were missing um, in the opening half of the season is very good going forward links up with Molyneux from the Hartlepool days um, his passing range is excellent very very good we saw that on Tuesday night his, his assist for Adelaide and it's a 70-80 yard ball um, absolutely belted forward Adelaide has made that run decent touch it's bounced quite high but he's managed to get the get the ball in but the vision and, and the ability to 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 pull that pass off is it just shows how good a player Sterry can be he's got a long throw in his locker as well which is something that we've not had for a while and, and it's nice to see and he's also pretty decent at defending which is what you need as a right back as well and I think the upturning form has come from solid foundations at the back with Sterry, Woody, Anderson, Olawu, Maxwell all putting in banging performances over the last couple of weeks and it's allowed the midfield and forward players to, to play with a little bit more freedom so long may that continue Moving on to the one to watch for Accrington, as I said at the start of the video, you know he club much better than I do. So if there's somebody else who should be in the conversation, get him in the comments down below. But I have gone with Jack Nolan, 22 years old, left winger, who has been utilised across the midfield. And it's difficult to kind of pinpoint where he may play on tomorrow's game. Um, but career wise, 152 appearances, 21 goals, 25 assists. And is Accrington's top scorer this season? Granted, a lot of those are penalties, but I'm not one for saying that a penalty doesn't mean as much as a goal in open play. You still have to have the composure and the calmness and the ability to put it past the keeper. Um, so, yeah, top scorer, 14 goals. He's also the top creator of goals with 12 assists this season across all competitions. So, key man in a, in a team that's struggling in the lower mid-table region of League 2. So, I think shut Jack Nolan out we've got a good chance of getting another three points tomorrow. On to the predicted team lineup. So for this one, I've used FanHub. If you've not downloaded the app yet, please go ahead and do so. Plenty of features to get your team stuck into. You get rewarded for following your team as well. So it's no brainer for me. I use it for the predicted team lineup, FanHub vibes. Like, like I say, plenty of features to get your team stuck into. So for this one, I've gone unchanged from my previous prediction. Um, it would be one change if this is the confirmed team lineup tomorrow. So I've gone low to Tyler in goal, Sterry, Oluwu, Wood and Maxwell as a back four. Bailey, Craig and Biggins coming back in for Tommy Rowe. With Adelaide and, and Molyneux on the wings, Joe Ironside up front on his own. So we'll see if that's a confirmed team lineup when they are put out tomorrow. On to the predictions league table. So if you're new to this, me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game. Get it spot on, it's three points. Get the outcome of the game right, but not the scoreline, it's one completely wrong it's no points and Chris did very very well on Tuesday night he went with a 2-1 win so he gets three points Max went with a 3-1 win so he gets one point my dad stuck with the Desmond went with a 2-2 so nothing for him and I went with a 2-1 defeat so nothing for me so Chris over the last couple of weeks has managed to slash I think it was a 12 point gap to five now but I still maintain that first spot on 32 points. Chris in second on 27, Max in third on 24, and my dad holding us up on 12. And that takes me to my score prediction. 
and do you know what i want to predict us to win make it eight on the bounce i think the confidence is there but i predicted defeats for the last four or five games now two one defeats and i'm a little superstitious i don't want to jinx it by changing my prediction so i'm going rovers one accrington two a run's got to end somewhere i don't want it to be on my watch <laughs> so i don't want it to be my fault by predicting a draw or a win for the rovers so i'm going to stick with me 2-1 to accrington and if i throw the family trophy i throw the family trophy if it means that we're continuing to get three points and that's where i'm going to leave this one if you've enjoyed it stick a big thumbs up on it for us comments in the section down below subscribe if you haven't already there will be a match day vlog tomorrow so please stay tuned for that and the 72 review on sunday as well and all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one